Welcome to the Eye of the Tiger. Today in the Eye, we'll explore hot topics affecting Nashville and beyond. We'll travel to Green Hills and discover a new and up-and-coming bookstore. We'll have a close-up on one of Nashville's most impressive brunch restaurants. And then finally, we'll sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one with one of the most celebrated actors on Sesame Street. Stay tuned, because when you're in the eye, you know you're in the know. Eye of the Tiger starts when? Starts now. Hello, 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 and welcome to Eye of the Tiger. Now, before we get started, you know I have to give our traditional shout outs. First, a shout out to Carrie Underwood for scoring five nominations for the CMT Music Awards. A shout out to Steve Harvey for his film, Think Like a Man, making number one in the box office, surpassing 30 three million dollars on its opening weekend. And finally, I have got to give a shout out to TSU's forensics team for winning a total of 327 awards and closing out the year third in the nation mid-sized team at the 2012 National Forensics Association Championship. You go with your bad self, TSU forensics. Well, Let's move to hot topics. Today, we have celebrated actor of stage and screen, Mr. Roscoe Orman, best known for the character of Gordon on Sesame Street. The budding and talented actress extraordinaire, Miss Ashley Bishop, a triple threat who is on her way to New York City. And Mr. Clarence Edward Ball III, assistant director of the award-winning forensics team here at Tennessee State University. How y'all doing? Good. How, How are, are you? you? Great to be here. Oh, thanks for being here. It's awesome. Yes, we're coming down to the end of the year here. And it's a wonderful thing, a wonderful thing. Congratulations to you, Clarence. Awesome job Thank you. with the forensics team. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. How was Ohio the last well, the last go round? It was cold. It was cold. It was cold. <laughs> it was rainy, you know, but we yeah. we powered through it, and so it was it was really good, and the students had a really good experience. So I was happy about that. Yeah. Well, I'm so that. glad that the team was victorious. Yes. And Ashley, you're on your way to New York. Yes, ma'am. I'm on my way to New York in August. All right. Yeah. Okay. Very I know you're gonna are you gonna set the town on fire? Oh yes, ma'am. That's okay. my goal. <laughs> All right. You triple threat you. Well, you know that's my hometown. So oh you know, really? Uh, we'll we'll roll out the red carpet. Please. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Orman, thank you so much for being it's here. It's a pleasure to be here, Kimberly. Oh, yes, yes. Awesome. Finally, I've been really looking forward to being on Eye of the Tiger. Uh, well, we're yeah. happy to have you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, you guys, when you were young and living under your parents' roof, <laughs> did they discipline you? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes? Of course. yes. Oh, yeah. oh what, what, how did they discipline you? Depends on how old I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I think they would participate in a little corporal, corporal punishment every once in a while, uh -huh. which is, you know, hey, I'm Southern Baptist, so why not? Yeah. But um, when I got older, they would take things away from me, like, we're taking your car, we're taking your clothes, or mm. something like that. I was like, eee, whoa, Oh, wait. so they would deprive you. Whoa, I go to high school in suburbia, I need a car. <laughs> I need my clothes. So it, was, it was rough. Well, and what about you, Ashley? Well, you know, I grew up Southern Baptist as well, and I'm from the South. <laughs> so my parents did the same thing, yes. you know, and they would take stuff from me, my cell phone, my car, mm. can't go to the movies, and you know, it would work. It mm -hmm. would make me straighten up, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. so okay. I can agree with Clarence on yeah. that. Yeah. And, and what about you, Roscoe? Well, you know, I, as I think back, uh, there was a little corporal punishment early on. Oh, you were a perfect child? Cause I, no, I was far <laughs> from I, I can't <laughs> I, I was pretty mischievous, and I had little sisters, and of course, you know, I would terrorize them mm. every As chance all I got. Older that's, yeah. Yeah. Do, but that's, that's our duty, right? We, yeah, you know, to, to toughen them up for the for the future years. Oh, so really? Is that is that the older brother's duty? That's my excuse yes. now. Uh, that's yes. what my brother did to me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so what was the but, punishment? Well. Um, uh, later, as I got into my, my preteen and teen years, it was, you know, uh, having to, 
it's not really like sitting in the corner, but I, had to, ha I couldn't go outside and, and, and you know, hang with my buddies. I had to stay in the room, mm -hmm. which turned out to be a, a blessing, too, because I was, I was really into drawing, so I would spend all that time in my room mm. doing something constructive. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. So it, it really paid off in the long run. You know, I would, mm. I would draw or I would read or do something constructive. Mm. Yeah. Well, parents are moving to a whole new form of discipline. Mm. Yeah. One North Carolina father took parenting to a whole new level when he shot his daughter's laptop mm. and posted the video on YouTube for the whole world to see. Let's take a look. That right there is your laptop. You see it's out here on the ground. This right here is my 45. <laughs> that was the first round. These are exploding ho hollow point rounds from a uh, yeah, and you have to pay me back for these too, because these are about a dollar a piece. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah. And I, after that comment you you made about your mom, your mom told me to be sure I put one <coughs> there for her. So that one's from her. <laughs> and if I got one left, I got two left. Now I'm out. Mm. So <laughs> just for the record. Whenever you're not grounded, whenever year that happens to be, you can have a new laptop when you buy a new laptop. And when you pay me back the $130 for the software I, I spent on yours yesterday. Hope you've enjoyed your little fiasco on Facebook. Hope it was worth all this. Um, have a good day, y'all. Mm. Wow, wow, that yeah. is unbelievable. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I remember when I first saw that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. my, my response was r really mixed. I mean, yeah. I understand the, the point that he was trying to make, uh -huh. and it may have been effective in the long run, but I, I, I think carrying it that far where you're actually humili humiliating your child in front of the whole world yeah. mm -hmm. is a little yeah. extreme. Well, the child humi he humiliated, humiliated the, parent. the parents in right. front of the whole world, oh. and that's why that was he the actually did it. So right. She posted some, it. some blurb on Facebook that said that she didn't like the parents and practices of the parents and that they were doing stuff oh. to her and that she wasn't feeling appreciated and she felt like she had too many chores and all this other stuff. Right. And so her posting that on Facebook, he felt like that was like cyber oh, embarrassment. And so his retaliation was cyber embarrassment. So. Yeah, That's but good. is well, his no. posting of that just as embarrassing yeah, as what she right. did? I think so. I think it's very <laughs> probably more. No. Probably more. I mean, the daughter yeah. was misbehaving, oh, yeah. right? Yes. But I mean, what he did was—I mean, it's like takes two to tango yeah. here. I, yeah. You know, it's it's, it's very it's, embarrassing. It's kind of reinforcing the thing that she did wrong in a way mm -hmm. too, because to go to that extreme, yeah, eye for I eye. think you know, yeah, eye for an eye mm -hmm. kind of thing, which I, I I think he could have found a better way. For one thing. The destruction of that piece of property. Exactly. Yeah, right. he, he could have taken that and given it to someone else who needed right. it. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. which would have been a much more effective way of, um, you know, proving that point to her. Yes, yes. Um, made her give it to somewhere, someone, or some charitable entity or something. Right, like rather that, than putting then bullet then holes in it, bullet bullet when a lot of people it. could use a laptop. Exactly. Actually, right. yeah. I, yeah. I think in you like. Well, the rune is still fresh. It's kind of like, oh my God. But I think that in years to come, it'll probably be something funny. Yeah, it'll be something like that. You know, it'll be something yeah. funny. Yeah, I'm sure her friends are laughing about now, like, yeah, your pranks are crazy. You said crazy, that your dad yeah. put a 45 <laughs> to your laptop? Yeah, that well, guy. Yeah. Come on. Like, it's, it's probably going to be funny. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's not the only one doing it. I mean, recently there was a mother that posted a picture on Facebook of um, her daughter with a red circle and an X through her mouth and was saying things like, um, under the caption read, mm -hmm. I don't know how to keep my mouth shut, so I'm not allowed on Facebook or my phone. Please mm -hmm. ask me why. My mom says I have to answer anyone who asks. Mm -hmm. So she said something on Facebook about mm -hmm. her mother, and as a, as a result, her mother posted that. Wow. So, I mean, the parenting is, you know, is getting narrower yeah. and mm -hmm. narrower. Yeah. 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 I know. think I think certainly there's a paradigmatic shift, but I think that when you get to, to the physical aspects of it, when you post physical abuse, because that mm -hmm. tape over the mouth thing, that's physical abuse yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that that's maybe taking it a little bit too far. Even though we all said we had maybe experienced a little bit of corporal punishment, mm -hmm. it wasn't broadcast. No. Right. So, you know, that's a if little bit If you weren't different. there, you didn't know it happened. Right, right. right. You know, it's like behind closed doors type. Yeah. Type well, from time to time,
parents can embarrass their children. Yes. And the ultimate embarrassment occurs in the dating arena. Yeah. Linda Hogan, wrestler Hulk Hogan's former wife and mother of Nick and Brooke Hogan, made headlines when the 48-year-old began dating a 19-year-old Charlie Hill, a friend of her daughter's. Yeah. Now, in 2012, they're engaged to be married. Should she feel any remorse for dating someone who is the same age as her children? Mm. Well, I, I, I heard a similar case uh, recently, it was a few months ago, about uh, a, the father of a teenage daughter mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who was also a teacher in her school. Mm. And he, before the, the, the I, think, I think she was a, a senior, before the, the year ended, he began uh, uh, d not only dating, but became li live-in partners with one of her classmates oh. who had just oh. turned 18 um, to, to the shock and dismay of not only his daughter, but his wife. His wife? He was still <laughs> married? He was still married. Oh, my God. He left his wife and got w one of, one of his, his daughter's classmates, and they had been having some kind of relationship, obviously, Prior to her Prior turning to 18. Uh, turning 18. Wow. Yes. But oh, once she turns 18, funny. he figured, well, she's legal now. And they wow. started uh, living together. Uh, now, to me, that that is beyond, beyond. Really. How yeah. embarrassing for the daughter. For the daughter. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot yeah. to deal with. So I, I think with the Hulk Hogan situation, though, I, I, I think that the reason... I don't know why they initially broke up, but I think that as some news entity, they had said that it might have been some infidelity on the mm -hmm. part of the father. Oh, his son, and yeah. I can't say that he wasn't dating younger women, so I don't know if I want to reprimand the mother for dating younger men. I mean, I think that the fact that the friend was of the daughter is a little interesting, but why can't she, you know, go get a swerve on? I don't understand what the problem is. Well, she's a that. cougar. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, you know. <laughs> Hey, yeah. you know. what 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 are the what repercussions do the guys have when they w go out and date women that are 20, 30 years yeah, their junior? Different. You know, it's I don't think that it's traditionally it's been much more acceptable for men to do that. Now. Right. And yes, but now but women now are women doing it, and it's taboo yeah. now. It's like, yeah. how dare you be with this young right. young boy? I don't I don't necessarily feel that way. You know, hey, yeah. if, it, well, if you like it, I love I'll it. I'll tell you, mothers are doing it not only in dating, right, but also in the clothes that they wear. Mm -hmm. The Maury Show said it best when it pinpointed a mother wearing an inappropriate clothing. Let's take a look. Take a look at just how outrageous delicious oh. it is. <laughs> I am a sexy, big, juicy, beautiful woman, just like a big red apple. You cannot have just one bite of me and let me go. I love my shorts. I love my low-cut shirts. I love to show off my sexy body. It makes me look like a big, sexy plum. Men love me. I get free cards. I get money. I get gifts. I get anything I want because I am just sexy. <laughs> oh, that is horrible. God. That's horrible. Oh, my God. Okay. See, I was, I was uh, expecting uh, someone who <laughs> really looked... Like, I know. You know, like yeah. she should yeah. have on the clothes. Yeah. No. Wow. Right. Is it okay for parents to dress this provocatively, even if their children have problems with it? I think it's inappropriate to look like a bus in a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Oh, my, oh my gosh. It is overwhelming. It is. Yeah. Over can you imagine the, the child's embarrassment? Oh, my goodness. Uh, all of these instances fall under a bigger question. Is the gap between parent and child becoming more and more narrow? Think about it. Mm. We have to cut to commercial. But when we come back, we'll dive into Celebrity Corner. We'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere.